I normally don't give my testimony because it, I found it scares people. Uh, I was Mr. Goody Two Shoes growing up. My mama used to bop me up the side of my head and now, never drank, never smoked. My particular sin du jour was uh, I'm an ex high level occultist. You know, I was, I was way up in Freemasonry. Uh, black mass, I've done everything you can do in the occult but human sacrifice. And, you know, uh, I was a Rosicrucian, uh, you know, and they told me that was my threshold event, you know, sacrifice an a, a innocent human soul. And, you know, and I started thinking about things and, you know, uh, I was doing a prelude ritual, you know, with an uh, animal. And uh, I, I, you know, I, I met the devil. You know, and they was, and I was like the sister over there. I could hear clapping, and you've made it. You've crossed the threshold. You know, you're in the Great White Lodge, and that's what the Freemasons call it. And they said, you know who we are. And I was like, who are you? He said, you know who we are. You've been knowing the whole time. You knew when you took your blood oath as a first-degree Mason. You know who we are. And I was like, nah, who are you? He said, we the devil. And I literally lost my I mean, when, when God allowed the devil to pull back all the bright lights and the, because when you're into kundalini yoga and that kind of stuff, and uh, I, I'm, I studied Tai Chi my whole life. And when you get high enough in Tai Chi, there's Eastern meditation. And when all the white lights and the pretty sounds and angelic figures, when all that was stripped away and I saw exactly who I had been serving all them years as a Freemason and Rosicrucian, I lost my mind. I literally, now, some people don't believe it because they see me how I am now. But you can go check at Western Missouri if you got connections. I've been there three times for a 19-day stay, and that has to be by court order. And the first time I went in there, the judge, she looked at me. She heard what I had to say. She said, wow, this guy is really coherent. But we're going to let him keep you for 19 days because you say you're talking to ghosts. I say, no, I'm not talking to ghosts. I'm talking to demons. Straight out. That's my background. I was staying over in a nursing home where I'm at uh, even now today. Can't seem to get a job, so y'all pray for me about a job in uh, investments and finance. That's my background. But uh, I was staying over there, and my mother was coming to visit me. Had a praying mama, still praying for me. After I tried to stab her, in her own house, because I lost my mind, and I thought she was the devil coming to get me, like that sister over there. And so, uh, you know, ran out in the street, stripped off my clothes in the middle of the winter. That's how the police knew I was, you know, kind of off in the head and took me to Western Missouri. And uh, so uh, after I got to Western Missouri, I was standing in the nursing home where I'm at now, and my mother kept coming to visit me and trying to talk to me about Jesus. Now, listen how far gone I was. I was telling my mama, don't want to hear nothing about that Jesus cat. Get the check on up away from me. That's how far gone I still was. But my mother brought me a Bible, and I read my one favorite book, the book of Revelation. And I spent 31 days every day just reading that book over and over again, just literally washing my mind in his word. Because that was the only part I'd allow myself to read, what the prophecy, the final end was going to be. After 31 days of reading, I got down on my knees. I said, Lord Jesus, I repent. I knew when I took my first initiatic oath. Because I used to go right down to Ivanhoe Temple, right there on 82nd and Holmes Road. I said, I knew then what I was doing was wrong. I grew up in the Baptist church, uh, Palestine Missionary Baptist Church, one of the biggest Baptist churches. Got more land than any other Baptist church in Kansas City. Grew up there. Knew what I was doing was wrong. And I've never looked back, never wanted to look back. And God literally stripped out that. He repaired my mind, gave me back all of my insights about finance, gave me a back just enough about the rituals to be able to talk to somebody and lead them. You know, so if you got any family members into that malarkey, that junk, send them here. You know, but that's why I live at this church. 
That's powerful testimony there.